Hi, and welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin with a really special piano, something so unusual. Wait till you see this. This is an Arard. Arard was one of the great developers of piano technology in the 19th century. In fact, we are grateful to Arard for so many aspects of piano design that we take for granted today that didn't exist before they came into the picture. Now this piano was built in 1875 and everybody who has seen this piano, my technicians, pianists, cannot believe the condition, the beauty of this instrument from the real ivory keys still in good shape. But more importantly, the soundboard has a great sound as you'll hear in a moment. And I'm gonna tell you more about the technology of the piano. Uh, I'm going to play a piece that would be perfectly appropriate on here. I'm going to play uh, some excerpts from the Pathetique Sonata of Beethoven. Then I'll tell you about some of the aspects of this piano that are unlike pianos that have been made since the advent of the 20th century. Pleasure to play this instrument. I feel like I'm transformed in time back to the middle of the 19th century. Now, one great surprise about this piano when we opened it up and looked inside, it's not only the condition of the action, that is, all, everything that's set into motion when you press a key, from the key to the hammer. The piano underwent a long evolution from the earliest forte pianos that had a Viennese style action, which is backwards from a modern action. This not only has a modern English style action, but it has what are called repetitions or double escapement, as modern pianos do. 
Yet I have seen pianos from not only the end of the 1800s, but even into the 20th century, still with the antiquated older technology. Pianos of Dusendorfer, even Blutner and Beckstein, pianos that came decades after this piano, didn't have as modern an action as this piano has. So it's not a huge adjustment. You have the kind of response that you are more used to than on some of these other pianos with older style actions. Now I mentioned there were other aspects of the technology. If you look inside virtually any modern grand piano, the strings cross over one another. But on this piano, they go straight. They never cross over one another. And there's a different quality to the sound. And some pianists are actually exploring repertoire, the period repertoire, on these sorts of pianos. They're starting to build some to get that sound that the instruments were created for this music should be played with this kind of architecture, shouldn't it? And there's other things. The dampers, you'll notice, instead of resting on top of the strings, actually come up from underneath, which I had never seen before. Fascinating, huh? One last point that's different about this piano, you will find in a Busendorf or Imperial and a very few other pianos, is instead of the continuous rim, the rim is in sections. And the Imperial has its seam by the tail, but almost all other pianos today have a bent rim of one continuous piece of wood. So this is the way pianos used to be made. The plate, while it's pretty massive, it's not cast as one piece. There are actually different sections that are indeed screwed together, but you have a lot of rigidity because there is a massive amount of metal in this piano unlike earlier pianos, which are very temperamental and fragile because of the little bit of metal. So now, I'm gonna move on with the same Beethoven sonata so you can hear the lyrical side of this piano with the second movement of Beethoven's Pathetique Sonata, a taste. It's a very warm tone, yet it has a certain uh, quality of uh, muscularity to the tone. There's a roundness and a firmness to the tone, a solidity, if you will. Listen how it sounds, opening up in some Liszt, and Liszt could very well have played a piano just like this. <laughs> So if you want to be transformed back in time, when the glory of the piano 
from the composer's writing to the magnificent instrument builders, Arard being at the very pinnacle of development of the piano, then this Arard is a wonderful instrument for you. And remember, we do offer free delivery anywhere in the continental United States. And uh, yet, I, I have a feeling this piano is not going to be here very long at all. We've had tremendous interest. Thanks so much for joining me, Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. We'll see you next time.